before uh, anything else guys uh, shout out to our friends here on the comment section thanks for your support and more power to you guys so here they are Guys, I have here a PC power supply. So, I already removed it from the casing. And uh, this one has no power. So, if you are fixing the PC without power, first thing you have to do is to identify if the problem is coming from the power supply. Once you confirm that the problem is coming from the power supply then uh, you can start troubleshooting the power supply we will do first visual inspection because the problem is there uh, there is no power so first is the fuse so there is a fuse here if one as you can see There's a sign of burn at the bottom of the fuse. If we make it reverse like this, okay. So let me check this fuse. Okay. okay. So let me check the fuse. See? It's busted. It's here. Now, if the fuse is busted, the next thing you have to check is this bridge rectifier because this one is the primary supply so the fuse is here and the component here that usually cause the fuse to get busted is the bridge rectifier so let me check the bridge rectifier Okay, let's make it like this, like that. See, so we have a short here. This one also short. This is short. So we have a short bridge rectifier. To confirm it, uh, we need to remove this bridge rectifier, this one. We'll remove it and we will check it off the board. Okay? Okay guys, now this is the bridge rectifier 
and let us check it now so there is short he have also short and he have also short so we prove that this uh, bridge rectifier is defective so now what we are going to do is to replace this and after replacing this one we have to replace the fuse also and we will try the power supply if it will work okay guys now we have here the new components this is the defective one that we remove from the board and this is the new one so here we have a short in the new one see look at the reading and the fuse is the we don't get any beep okay now we will uh, connect the components to the board and after that we will try we will test the power supply Okay guys, now we, now we are able to replace the components, so this is the bridge rectifier, and the fuse is here, and these are the defective ones. So now let me return this power supply on the casing and uh, after that we will uh, try to turn on the PC and we will see if uh, our repair is uh, successful. So this is the power supply and this is the fuse that we put and uh, this is the bridge rectifier. So this is the back side or the bottom part of the power supply and I will return it to the casing here and uh, after that we will try to return this to the unit and we will uh, try to power up. So this is the details, this one, the details of the power supply so let me put it back let me assemble this one and uh, we will uh, uh, test this Okay guys, now the power supply is already inside the PC, so this is it. Now, what we are going to do is to connect the power and uh, we, will we will try to on this uh, PC. Okay, power is connected 
and press the so there is light indicator on the board I don't know if you can see on the video and uh, we will on now the PC so fan is uh, running so good indicator so far because actually this one has no power at all so we will turn off this PC and we will connect the monitor so that we will really see if there is a display then we can confirm that this is uh, working properly so I connect it now to the monitor and we will try to power on again okay now we will know okay guys the display came okay it's turning on now so it means our repair is uh, successful so thank you very much guys for watching and for your support more power to all and god bless